Hi hello students welcome back to new video today i am going to teach you taxonomy categories in last class i already taught you about your systematics and your taxonomy categories but in last class taxonomy categories only i told you about the hierarchy but in this class we will we'll read the taxonomy categories in detail we know that it may be in the ascending order or descending order the hierarchy it will start from your kingdom kingdom is the highest place in an organisms then will be your phyla or division when you are writing for the animal then we go for the phyla and when we write for the plants then it will be the division then will be your class then order family genus and species understood i have written in the descending order but you can write in the uh, ascending order also okay we we'll start from the species this species term was given by your jolgor but whatever is then given the term about the species it was not biologically proof or it is not scientifically correct so the species definition was given by arnes mayer okay according to arnes mayer the definition of species is a group of closely related organism closely related organisms which can interbreed among themselves in nature and give rise to spring which is fertile which is fertile this is the definition of your species a group of closely related organisms which can interbreed among themselves in nature and give rise to offspring which are fertile means fertile means the continuity of the species is keeps going on that is the definition of your species now we will go for the genus before we go for the genus we will write some example of your species your lion okay we we'll call it biologically panthera leo panthera leo this is the species and panthera is the genus suppose example of your solana nigrum okay nigrum is the species like homo sapiens sapiens is the species these are example of some species where it include your genus and the species now we we'll go for the genus what is genus genus are group of closely related species species group of species which have similar characters that place in the one genus okay means more closely characters or more characters are similar in case of species when it reach to the kingdom then we we'll find the less closely related characters now we will go for the genus genus what a group of closely related species are belong to one genus panther leo is the name of the lion same way your tiger name is a panther tigris panther tigris panthera leo means your tigris and leo are more closely related species which belong to one genus that is 
is your panthera. All right, sure? That is your panthera. Next, we will be go for your family. Family is what? A group of closely related genus belong to one family. Group of genus genera belong to one family. This panthera is the one genus. Panthera is the one genus. Like that, these are uh, called cat, big cats, where all small cats belong to one genus that is your fenis. That is fenis. Belong to the cats. All cats belong to fenis. Panthera and fenis are both the genus which belong to one family. That is Felidae. That is Felidae. Understood? Means group of genera. Panthera is one genus and Felis is the one genus. And they belong to one family that is Felidae. And all cat, your big cat or dog cat belong to one family that is Felidae. Next will be go for the order. Closely related family form the order. Already we have taken the example of your Family. family is the one family. First to write about the definition of order. Group of family. We are using same characters. Family is the family is the one family. That is your cat family. Dog is the dog family is the known as family. Is the the Family and the both belong to one order that is your carnivora. Carnivora. Understood? Carnivora is the order. Next, we will go for your class. Class in the same way, group of closely related order belong to one class. Group of or belong to one class. Carnivora is the one order. Carnivora is the one order. Primata. Okay. Your dog, cat belong to your carnivora order. Primata. All primates belong to your primata order. And they belong to the class. Mamalia. Mama Lia. Understood? Next, your hyla. Hyla, similar group of class. Okay? Your Mamalia is the one class. Mamas. Mamalia. Your apps, reptilia, pieces, okay, and your amphibia. The below two, one phylum that is your codata, that is codata. Codata is the phylum. Group of class belong to one phylum. Your mama, apes, reptiles, fishes and amphibia belong to your phylum codata. Because we are taken about the uh, animals. So, we have written the codata. Your all codata and non codata belong to one kingdom that is animal kingdom. If in this case, in this case we have uh, taken the example of your animals. If we will consider the plant, then it will be the division, sir. Understood? These are all about your taxonomy categories in detail. I started from the species and end in the kingdom. Okay? Species, in the species what? Closely related organisms which can interpret among themselves. Sir. As a result, the species will be continued. In the species, more, more closely related characters will find. But in case of when you reach to the kingdom, the characters will be less common. Understood? I hope you enjoyed this video. 
don't forget to share it like it and subscribe it if any doubt arises don't forget to write it in the your comment sections thank you students